What's going on my friends? Cubs fan Han here for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video and I think we are in the calm before the storm ladies and gentlemen. Now we've had a different kind of storm raging in Galaxy of Heroes. A storm of negativity, a storm of maybe development blunders and we've got one we're going to talk about today a little bit that I actually found some silver lining in. I don't hate this uh, lack of Zetas in the Grand Arena Championships rewards. Mostly. I kind of do. But I, I found something to be positive about in it. Maybe. Kind of. I don't know. You be the judge. May, maybe I'm grasping. Maybe I'm just desperately. The optimist in me is just desperately trying to find something to be positive about in this game. But I do think we're in the calm before the storm before a lot of content hits us. Now, I think that for a couple reasons. Number one, logic kind of begs that, you know, we're probably, there's, we're due. There's a lot coming in galaxy or in uh, the galaxy in general. We've got Rise of Skywalker, Mandalorian, Jedi Fallen Order, Clone Wars at the beginning of next year. There's so many things coming. I think that it's safe to assume that we're going to have some new content here before too long, starting with the light side territory battles. Also, I've been hearing grumblings, rumors from trusted sources, multiple people that seem to be in the know that there's a lot of stuff coming. And so it gives me hope because right now, it's just all I have in me to log into the game right now. I just have to be honest. I actually said on Twitter recently that I didn't, I hadn't even done my arena payout in like half a month. I actually did do a couple arena battles today. Um, it, but, and I'm, I'm fortunately able to still stay top 50 with the team I've got, but man, it's just, is anyone else feeling this way? I'm just like, oh, it's just so hard to log into the game. And so I'm really hoping optimism, 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 calm before the storm. Hopefully these guys are right. Hopefully the logic in me that, you know, there's so much coming in the Star Wars community in general. Hopefully that points to a lot of new content coming this way. And hopefully we can all be excited about this game again. Hopefully. So, let's talk about the Grand Arena reward. So, as many of you noticed, over here is what we're talking about. If you go into Grand Arena, we've got no Zetas! The atrocity of no Zetas in the Grand Arena rewards. Now... This is an issue, all right? And don't get me wrong. I don't want to be an apologist for this by trying to find optimism here because the rewards for Grand Arena suck already, all right? who If you play Grand Arena all out and you're doing it because of the rewards, you're getting gypped. The rewards are not very good for the time investment. I mean, compare the amount of rewards you get for doing a couple of arena battles every day, you know, 500 crystals every single day versus, you know, if you're able to get there versus, and if you do it, because I don't do it, I keep interrupting myself, versus the rewards of five weeks of effort that you get from Grand Arena. Um, they just, in general, need to be upped. And probably the best part of those rewards is the Zeta materials. It was like, you know, the silver lining of the bad rewards was the Zeta materials. And so to remove that from the equation, it's like, come on, CG, why? <laughs> like, there's so many things that have happened lately that are just like, oh my gosh, you need some good wins. You need some better PR. This is not helping your case, all right? Um, now, in fairness, and I'll defend CG a bit, this is working as intended based on what their precedent is, and this is a post from uh, Crum that basically says, yes, it's intentional for the Zetas not to be there, because when we have ship nodes in the Grand Arena, we do ship Omegas instead of Zeta materials, and that is true. That's totally what they did before. That said, it's been such a long time since ships that I think a lot of us have short-term memory loss, and look, the lack of Zetas sucks, and it still sucks, and I think this is uh, something that should change. Now, they do, in fairness, admit that they will be re-evaluating the rewards for this mode regularly, and are currently assessing if slash what changes we may make to future Grand Arena Championships. I really hope that you guys actually do this, Crumb, because this is the game mode that needs a lot of attention on rewards, especially because... This is arguably one of two game modes, I mean, that people still, a lot of people still enjoy. I mean, there's, maybe, this might be a biased take based on what my, the people that I associate myself with 
um, and who I'm talking to and like everyone on Reddit and the forums and everything. I know it's, it's a microcosm of everyone who actually plays the game, but this to me just feels like one of the best thing Galaxy of Heroes has going for right now. And so having rewards that reflect that would be desirable. Which brings me to the silver lining. If you love Grand Arena, and these are the rewards, th this could be decentivizing for de-incentivizing for people who want to play Grand Arena just for those Zetas. So if those aren't there, this might be an easier round of championships for you. Now, take that or leave it as a positive or a negative, I don't know. But me personally, I've been trying desperately to get to Kyber, and it's been very, very challenging to get there, which I actually learned recently is not just me, it's also a product of the system because every Grand Arena, so far, I've gone 10, or 10 and two in the three championships we've had, but I still haven't been able to get there, partly because I haven't done every single feat. I've done feats, but not all of them, but also because I'm facing really tough, challenging competition, and I'm making my, my plan in Grand Arena is very defensive focused. And when you do that, you can't get as many banners. It very much favors people who can go out and smash their opponents, get 1908 banners, and, you know, do every single feat. And you can undersize everything and all of that. And I think that's something that should also be looked at. Uh, not that, you know, I don't know, CG, I don't know if you give a crap about what I think. You probably don't, but, you know, I'll just tell you guys what I think anyway. Um, because right now, if you set a heavy defense and you get the win, that's a, it should be a viable strategy. You get penalized based on how many banners you can get and your progress towards Kyber and the good rewards that Kyber brings as a result are also hindered. So that's something else that I hope changes. So long story short, when you're looking at, you know, the grand arena rewards, look at the scoring too, capital games, look at maybe rewarding people for defensive holds or something like that. Give value, not just to being able to obliterate your opponents, but value towards you stopping them so that the defense actually gets you something. You did something similar in uh, Territory Wars to help with tiebreakers. I think in Grand Arena, it should be there because right now, if you have a more defensive match, which to me should be a viable way to play the game mode, it hinders your ability to make it to Kyber League, especially in Division 1. Not as much of an issue in the lower divisions. I've heard of people going 6-6 six and six making Kyber League in the lower divisions. Um, now, a quick pro tip that I want to um, end on here. When you go in and you, you join your Grand Arena, which I've already joined, please note, it used to be you join, and then right now, right now it says uh, 17 hours and 45 minutes until player lock. Um, that used to be where it would capture exactly what my roster looks like right now all of the mods everything that are there and that would be what i used for those next three battles that is now changed you guys may have seen this you may have not i don't know if anybody made a video on it so i just want to call it out and make that clear um where let's see this was top hat who said um we've changed when the roster lock occurs and this was let's see when was this november 1st so this was uh, about five six days ago uh we had no mission from our re recent patch notes we've changed when the roster lock occurs both for territory wars and grand arena championships matchmaking previously your roster did not have a snapshot of your collection taken until the moment matchmaking had begun this resulted in some players' rosters being updated after the moment matchmaking uh, of matchmaking in the uh, by the nature of the system going through and taking snapshots of everyone's roster. Now, when you click the join button, your roster is snapped. For territory wars, if you exit, you are removed from matchmaking consideration. When you rejoin, your roster is snapped again at that moment. Apologies for the omission. And so, what I would just beg all of you to be aware of is if you've got any close upgrades you've got a zeta you're about to hit um you're gonna hit it tomorrow morning for example or you got maybe you're gonna be able to take up somebody to gear 12. wait to hit that join button don't forget to hit the join button but wait to hit that join button until you make whatever that next upgrade is so that you can use it in those next three battles and then go ahead and hit that join button just food for thought so ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think down in the comments below about grand arena championships are you okay with the zeta mission does it you know does it make you want to quit the game like where are you at on the spectrum do you buy my silver lining i'm trying <laughs> i'm doing my best um let me know 
where you guys are at uh, in that regard and what kind of content are you hoping to see? Um, we've got, you know, just a couple months here. I think it's exactly six weeks until the rise of Skywalker. Are you thinking we're just going to get spam with marquee characters? Do you think that we might get some new game modes? I'd love to hear your speculation down in the comments below. Thanks again for joining me for the video, my friends. If you did enjoy it, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And I do have a second channel going on right now. A lot of you guys are playing Dragon Champions. I've got a link down below in the description where you can download and try this game out. That link does benefit the channel. And so if you don't want to benefit the channel, go download it in the App Store. But I would appreciate it if you use my link. Um, this game is surprising me. I've been playing this game at first. I was kind of like, oh, I'll just try it out. You know, it's kind of the fad. But now, like, I've got a whole guild with my patrons, and we're all going bananas on this game. We just had our first legendary event, and it's not too late to get into it. So I would highly recommend checking that out. If you guys have been skeptical of it, I just at least give it a shot. And if you have and you don't, if it's not your thing, that's fine too. Uh, but I do have a second channel. There's also a link down below where I'm covering that. I've had some people go, hey, where did your Dragon Champions videos go? I moved them all over there because a lot of you guys just don't really care about that. And that's totally cool. I respect it. Don't want to bother you with that here. Got a whole second channel for it. So check that out. Uh, link again down below in the description. Thanks again for joining me for the video, my friends. And as always, my brothers, don't forget.